Up next, I sit down with former Kentucky Wildcat Wayne Turner in our next episode of The Company of Miners. Go back to 98, 99, talk about uh, playing for UK and winning a national championship and what that, and what that was like for you. Um, oof, that feeling. It feels like yesterday. Um, I, I think that was probably the most... Uh, best moment in my life and playing basketball is winning a national championship because growing up as a kid um, in, in Boston and always watching the national championship game and the, the whole tournament atmosphere it was just so exciting and to be a part and actually win was like out of the world. I mean, even to this day, you know, I still hear people uh, talk about it and it's just a this was an amazing feeling. I was just, I'm just really, really happy and grateful to be a part, uh, be a part of that. What was it like? Uh, you know, what was it like playing for UK? I guess for you then too. Really, in UK was a, it was a, it was a great experience. Um, you know, I really didn't understand the whole University of Kentucky traditional thing until by my junior year. Uh, the end of my sophomore year, going into my junior year, um, I really started to understand how much, you know, it meant um, to people, to the fans anyway, um, you know, when you put on um, that blue jersey and how much it meant for them for us to actually win a national championship. So going through that whole experience and being able to um, learn about the tradition and all the great players that that came through there and went on and either had NBA uh, careers or even, you know, um, announcer careers like Larry Conlin and, you know, Pat Riley, who I never knew, played at Kentucky, and Dan Esso as well. Um, you know, I never, even Kenny Skywalker, he would come back and play, pick up with us during the off season, And I never knew, you know, those guys, you know, were a big part of that tradition until, you know, I actually got to experience them being around and hearing them talk about all right, so moving forward real quick, um, you know, I've heard that you've gotten a chance to kind of practice with the new team, the new uh, Kentucky Wildcats. What was it like being out there on the court with them? And talk about those guys as players, and what do you see from them, and how do you think they'll do this season? Well, I think they, they, they're blending. Um, you know, they went through a few changes last year, and uh, but it's a great group of guys. Um, they work hard, and... Um, certainly, Billy Gillespie. He's a he's a he's a good coach. Um, I know he's doing the best he can to um, get his recruiting right and get his chemistry of the team right, and also finding out who the leaders are and who he wants to, you know, step up their play. And I think you know guys like Patrick Patterson and also Jody Meeks and also Stevenson are the guys who are pretty much the core players of that team that are going to um, bring them together and help them you know, be a top contender this year for um, a national title. All right, now I've got to ask you this. You had a short stint in the NBA. You played for the Celtics uh, briefly. But what was a better moment for you, winning a national championship or playing in the NBA? I would say winning a national championship um, because, you know, it's a championship. Uh, NBA was always my dream. Um, and also just getting to play in the NBA was – was was great, but it, it just didn't top that feeling of um, winning the national championship. All right, moving forward, let's talk about the minors. Um, you know, when you look at the roster, you know, you, <coughs> you're there, Galen Young, former CBA Player of the Year, Mike Dean led the CBA in scoring last year. Um, you've got a lot of personalities, and maybe people would say some ego, but you guys aren't showing any ego and how are you guys been able to come together and play as a team this year? I think from day one everybody pretty much um, understood their roles. Uh, coach explained you know who he was and you know everybody kind of went down the line and said you know a little a little um, note about themselves and how they were and from that day on um, which was the second when we all got together and met um, as a team you know people um, except, I mean, the, the players who were returning and all the other players who were just starting, they accepted um, uh, me and Galen, um, Galen, Galen Young as being, you know, the veterans of the team. And 
from that day on to now, everybody's pretty much been following our leagues. And um, we know that Mike's a scorer, and that's what he does. And no one, no one has a problem with that. And, you know, I pretty much, you know, do the same thing. I pretty, pretty much done all my career, and that's run the team, make sure everybody's on the same page. And, you know, we're really blending um, together as a team. And I, I like this group. I, it's been a little while before I played. I mean, since I played with a group like this. You mentioned you and Galen being the veterans of the team. You guys are both getting up there in age. Talk about some of the advantages of that and talk about some of the disadvantages it's been so far this year. I think um, the advantages of, um, you know, being veterans on a team is that, you know, when something, you know, get, when, when things start to fall apart or, or things get a little carried away, he and I both understand, you know, what we need to do to bring it all back together or even stop it from even falling apart. And, um, and also, you know, in a situation where um, Coach um, is probably unsure about some things and, you know, he, he can come to us and, and ask us um, for, for some insurance. Um, some of the disadvantages, um, you know, I think the older you get, sometimes the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games um, can wear and tear on you a little bit. But other than that, um, I don't. I don't really see any other disadvantages. I mean, the guys are the guys are great. They really look up to us, and I think that is what helps us able to lead them more. You talk about this team being one that. It's been a while since you played on a team like this before. Talk about the run that you guys are on right now, and. You know, what makes this team so special right now? Well, I think, um, you know, right now um, we're still trying to, you know, figure out, um, you know, what we need to do to work on our weaknesses. And there are weaknesses um, with this team. And right now we're concentrating on that. And we're not getting caught up into being undefeated. You know, we're sticking with, you know, we still got room to get better. And I think um, as long as we continue to you know, stay humble, stay modest, and work on the things that we need to work on, listen to what coach is saying to us, every practice in and practice out and get better, I think, I think the sky's the limit pretty much for us. All right, coach, I want to say this real quick. He talks about being modest and everything. Wayne's probably got to be one of the most modest guys I've ever talked to. And after that interview, I took the mic off of him. And he kind of had a sigh of relief. And I said, what's wrong? Are you nervous? And he said, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. It's been a long time since uh, he's kind of had the TV exposure again. And now here we are, and he's doing well so far. He is, and that's the thing. I mean, he's been new, over in New Zealand and all over the place where people really didn't know who Wayne Turner is. And, and, I, and I talked to him just yesterday. He's extremely happy to be back in Kentucky. And he said, like you, like you said in the interview, it's been a long time since he's been a part of a group like this. So I tell you what, I love what Wayne's bringing to the table. He's been absolutely wonderful. All right, Coach, but that will do it for the third quarter of the Keithley Show.